Well, if you're like me, you've probably wished that there was an easier way for you to keep track of all that rabbit cage information. You know, when they were born, how long is it gonna be before they're ready to breed? How many babies they had, how much they weigh, you know, lots of different cage information stuff. And I've often thought, man, there's gotta be an easier way to do this because through the years I've tried several different things. And of course, if you got an indoor rabbitry or an outdoor rabbitry, it may change up the way that you keep your cage information. But either way, I've come up with what I feel like is a pretty cool idea and uh, there are other people that have implemented it as well, but I come across something that I think is gonna be super cool and it will work for a lot of different people and it will help you to keep track of all of your rabbit cage information. You can use it with carriers. Uh, if you're a show breeder and you like to go to shows and that sort of thing, it's gonna be super cool and convenient. So stick around for a little bit and I'm gonna try and share that with you. So what I'm about to show you is something that will work especially well if you have outside carriers or outside cages or if there's the possibility that your cage card might get wet now over the years i've tried the little dry index cards that you could use you can stick them on the outsides of your feeder you know like some of your feeders they have these little spots on them where that you can slide a card in here i guess that's what you're supposed to do and I've never really used some of the larger ones, but I have tried to use some of the smaller style so that you can keep track of that information and uh, then it gets wet. I even tried one time, I put some keychains together, the ones, little plastic ones that have a place where you can put like a picture inside of those. And I thought, well, they'll be sealed. They got wet. So I got looking online here a while back trying to find a better way to keep track of all of that. And one of the things that I found, I'm gonna show you a little card here. Went on Amazon and uh, if you look, this is all things bunnies. And you can get these on Amazon. This particular one, it's one of the, I think this is considered fluorescent blue. And uh, it's got a place for name, date, bred, nest box, due date, born, wean, sire, all of that. And to be perfectly honest with you, the people that are running that operation from everything I could tell, they're great people, super nice. Um, I had a problem with one of my orders and they were quick to take care of it, fix it and make it right. But after I had ordered these, I got to thinking about it because really all this is, if you really pay much attention to it, it's basically a PVC ID badge card. That's pretty much what it is. Well, one of the nice things about those type cards is that you can take a permanent marker and you can mark on them and then you can wipe it off. Some say with soap and water. I've used a magic eraser without too much problem. So after I gave it some thought, I thought, well, I really don't like the idea of some of the way that the format nothing against the people that make these particular cards but i didn't really care for the particular format because sometimes i may want different information on the card based on whether it's a buck a doe a junior a senior and so what i i got thinking about it and i said well you know I'm, i wonder if amazon sells i just blank id badge cards that you can make yourself surely they got to so i went on amazon and I found that you can buy like a hundred of these. It's basically the same thing as this, but you can buy a hundred of these for around 20 bucks. And if I can remember, I'll try and put a link in the description of the video. But whenever I ordered these, I decided I had already put some uh, clipboard clips on my cages and I'll show you what I'm talking about. I don't know if you can, maybe see this here but so what i did was i bought these off of ebay you can get these little these are basically clipboard clips and previously i was uh clipping a cage card a different type to my cages but to give you an idea now what i'm doing i bought these little id holder i forget what you call these things you'll have to forgive me 
but you can find them on Amazon. They go with the ID badge basically. But this particular one, you can see where that I just took a permanent marker. I wrote down the name of the rabbit, her date of birth, when she was bred, when she's due, who she was bred to. The nice thing is, is that the PVC card, if it gets wet, it's not gonna hurt anything. And I live in Florida. So, so far I haven't had any issues with them blowing around or blowing off. And we've had some pretty strong winds and rain such as that, no issues whatsoever. And, and on top of that, you know, if you decide that you wanna take this cage card off and stick it on a carrier, it's pretty easy to do that. I have uh, like kindling boxes, what I call them. So when a rabbit's expecting around day 28, I can always take that off and put it on the kindling box if I decide I wanna do that. I can update information, I can take information off of there. And on top of that, the cards are just so cheap that if you decided to, you wanted to sell a rabbit that you already have a senior doe or buck that's in your rabbitry, you can just give them that cage card. Another cool thing is, is that you can make notes on the front or the back. I was trying to think of which rabbit that it was. It may have been the one that I was just looking at, but one of the problems that I'm gonna discuss in another future video, I don't see it on this particular one, but one of the problems that I wanna talk about in a future video is the rabbits that do what I call scratch, the ones that take and scratch their feed. I know that drives me crazy too. They scratch their feed out of their feeder and then all the feed dumps out of the cage out on the ground. That's always the best feeling in the world, especially whenever you got a lot of rabbits and you pay a lot of money for your feed. But anyway, so I, uh, I make notations. If I've got a rabbit that does a lot of scratching or something like that, or there's some weird thing that they do, uh, or they don't do well around a certain other rabbit, so you could just write it right on the back of the cage card, which to me, is super convenient. So this is what I use. Um, I got this recently at Lowe's, it's just a Sharpie. You can pretty much use any Sharpie, but I like this particular one because it's kind of fat, but it's also fine, if that makes any sense. But that's what I use. And I think that it's working out awesome. I love it. Um, after all these years of doing rabbits, I just wish I'd have done it sooner. And hopefully that little tip will give you an idea. You can do the same thing and you don't have to actually buy these cards, but for what it's worth, if you decide that you wanna go over to uh, All Things Bunnies or get on Amazon and uh, try those out, I don't remember what they cost. I think they're like maybe a dollar and 47 cents or something a piece and they got them in all different sorts of colors, which all that's super cool. But for me, I just decided, you know what? I think I'm just gonna keep this simple. And some of these rabbits, like this rabbit right here, beautiful blue eye, Holland. This particular rabbit, she's just a junior. She's only about uh, four months old right now, I think. And so she doesn't need a ton of information. That's pretty much it. But I know exactly whenever I look at that cage card, exactly what's going on. Hopefully that little tip may give you a little insight future videos i'm planning on talking about a lot of other things that i've learned and little tips and tricks and hacks and different things like that so hey if you want to learn some more stuff you can always like subscribe and do the notification bell all that stuff that you know you already know all that stuff but hey if you'd like to help us out with the channel that's cool more than anything i just enjoy what i do and so i'm just trying to be a help to some other folks so hey it was good to have you on the video with us today and hopefully you'll come back for more. God bless you.